Hello, ACPS staff. In this short video tutorial, we're going to talk about the three benefits of logging into the Google Chrome browser. Now, the first benefit has to do with ClassLink. When we are on site in our schools, ClassLink opens as our home page. But when we go home and we use a personal computer, sometimes it takes several clicks going through the AACPS homepage or other means to get to ClassLink. If you log into the Chrome browser using your AACPS account on a personal computer, ClassLink becomes your home page. And so when you click to launch your browser, what you get at home is exactly what you see here in AACPS, which is that ClassLink opens as your homepage and you can quickly and easily use ClassLink to get to all of the resources that you normally access from this site. A fit that we're going to talk about is your bookmarks. Bookmarks are a huge convenience when you're working in Chrome. Now, if you're not familiar with bookmarks, you may call them favorites, but they are one button access to websites that you use every day. Your bookmarks bar will run horizontally just underneath of where your web address is displayed here at the top when you're working in Chrome. And just like ClassLink contains a lot of buttons to easily get you to the sites that you use, Use. If you don't have the ability to add this to ClassLink or your students don't have the ability to add a particular website to ClassLink, bookmarking it can be a great convenience factor to get you to those websites. But one of the issues that we run into with bookmarks is that if I'm logging on to a computer that I don't use every day, I don't have my bookmarks available to me. When you log into the Chrome browser, you do. Your bookmarks will follow you to any device. So first, let's talk about how to make a bookmark. The first step to making a bookmark is to navigate to the website that you want to bookmark. So I'm going to use one of the um, applications here on my ClassLink page for my example, and I'm just going to click to go to Google Earth. And just at the top of my screen where the web address is displayed for Google Earth, on the far right hand side in that web address field, I see a small star icon. And I'm going to click on that star to create a bookmark to this website. This little box is now popped out here as I'm creating my bookmark and I, it's asking me for two fields of information. It wants to know what I want to name this uh, bookmark and what folder I want to put this bookmark in. They will always suggest a name for you, but if you don't like the name that they suggest, you can click in that field and type in something else. You can organize your bookmarks into folders just like you can organize your files that might be on your H drive or your Google drive. If you don't have any folders created, the folder they are suggesting right now is bookmarks bar, but we will talk more about folders in just a moment. So I'm going to go ahead and click done. And because my bookmarks bar is pretty full, you'll see that it goes all the way across the top of my screen. What I have on the right hand side is this little double arrow that tells me that I have additional bookmarks hanging off in a vertical list over here. This brand new website that I just bookmarked is now here in this additional more menu on the right hand side. But if this is a website that I want to use every single day, I might prefer to put it in a more prominent position on my bookmarks bar. And I can do that simply by dragging it to a different position and dropping it. So I now have one button access to get me to Google Earth from right here in the middle of my bookmarks bar. We talked a moment ago about folders. So how do you create a folder? If you place your cursor anywhere in a space between existing bookmarks and you right click on your bookmarks bar, about two thirds of the way down, you have the ability to add a new folder. You can give folders a unique name just like you would on your Google Drive and then you can even create folders inside of folders. I'm going to put this one right here on my bookmarks bar and click save. Just like when I made a new bookmark a moment ago that new folder has gone to the far right and the bottom of the list but I can drag it to a different position just like I did with my bookmark. I can even take my bookmark and put it into that folder. So now you'll see when I click on my folders that what pops out for each of them is in some cases a rather long list of the bookmarks, but I'm consolidating or organizing my bookmarks instead of letting everything run in a single horizontal row across the top and then in a single vertical row down the right hand side. So bookmarks are a great way to get you to the sites that you go to every single day if adding them to ClassLink is not an option. 
The third benefit that we want to talk about for logging into the Chrome browser is access to all of your various Google tools. When you log into Chrome, because it is Google's browser, you are then logged into all of Google. That includes Google Drive, Google Classroom, applications like YouTube, Google Arts and Culture, anything that is owned by Google, you will be logged into if you log into Chrome. So I hope this helps you guys understand the benefits of logging into Chrome. Happy Googling!